next speaker, Priyanka Mukherjee, ma'am, the role of technology in enhancing education outcomes. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, and thank you, Times, for giving us this platform to express our views. Now, I will start with real classroom scenario, right? What each one of us present here are facing. We are basically dealing with Generation Alpha. Who are these? These are techno nerds, mobile addicts. Most importantly, they have limited attention span. I think every one of us will agree to this. That's why I think all social media platforms have converted videos into reels, right? Because they have very limited attention span. So this is one part of my story. So first of all is our content delivered in the classroom should be very crisp and compact. This is first point. Coming to the second part, what I feel. One word is very trending in the market. That is AI, artificial intelligence. What exactly is AI doing? Artificial intelligence, one example I can give, Siri in our iPhone. You are asking questions, it is answering. You are asking it to book your flight tickets, it is booking. So do we need any travel agents in future? I don't think so. We are asking them uh, to do clerical works, they are doing. AI is doing our clerical works. We are asking them make one KPI matrix, instantly you will get a KPI matrix. So do we need any back office? We don't need in future. So what should be our learning outcome in the classroom? That is a million dollar question right now. What are we making? Means how we should train our students so that they can overcome these challenges. So our learning outcome should be planned in such a way so that in future, our students should overcome these challenges. So what AI can do? They can do routine, programmable works, right? What AI can't do, which, which human intelligence can do? Non-routine, creative work, right? So how can we train our students to do non-routine, creative work? Can anybody suggest how we can train? Simply by training them how to apply knowledge. Applications we have to teach them. Because knowledge is just one click away. Anything you ask, everybody will take their phone and search in Google. Just one click away is knowledge. So we need to train them how to apply knowledge and what is a better way than using technology itself? So what should be the future of education? Future of education should be problem-based, brainstorming. It should be in an immersive environment. How can we create immersive environment? Definitely with the help of AI, with the help of virtual reality, with the help of augmented reality, with the help of other dimensions that technology is giving. And third will be definitely with the help of simulation in the safety and security of our classrooms. So all our learning outcomes should be targeted in that way so that all our classrooms are future proof. Means our students should not be a signed off end product. They should be the best version of themselves. Like, for example, in our schools, we have apps for our singing classes also. At home, what they're doing, they're practicing. And the app is telling them whether their tune is correct or not, their tempo is correct or not, their pitching is correct or not. The VR is giving them the real life simulations in the safety of the classrooms. So this, this is opening their horizon of thinking. They're getting their concepts clear. So this will help them to think beyond. So that is what we need to create now. 
So all our learning outcomes that we are going, because now, nowadays we are not planning that we have to teach a chapter, then we have to make questions. We are teaching them backwards. First, we are framing the questions and then making the text. Why? Because we need defined learning outcomes because the first thing comes back, they have very limited attention span. So I think nowadays with the help, because we are in a, what should I say, exponential growth in terms of technology. So I think now we should encourage and train our students to solve real life problems in an immersive environment with simulation of reality with the help of technology. I think this is what we need to do. And the good news is we have infinite number of real life problems yet to be solved. So we will never be jobless. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.